need him. We need access to the data. Clear? You must first. Proceed. Whoa. Hey. Easy. What did you do? Well, now we can talk in private. Just severed the connection to the rest of Pacifica. Gives us a little time. Just a second ago, you tried to flatline me. And now you want to talk? Flatline? No, just discourage. But it looks like I underestimated you. Okay, no more fucking tangents. Fess up. Who are you? Bryce Mosley, Netwatch Special Agent. Can we talk? Had a specter on you, didn't you? Saw and heard all you did and followed his orders? No idea what the voodoo boys are paying you, but our pockets are deeper. Sorry. Don't work with corpse. Come on, everyone does. I bet you have too. Could verify that right away, actually. But we don't need any distractions, do we? Not interested. Not a money job for me. Just need an in with Mama Brigitte. Voodoo chef. Brigitte and her lapdog T. Neptune have been frozen several days now. Ever since we shrouded their subnet with ice. And you? Well, you were sent here to free them. Do you know why they didn't tell you everything? Cause you're a Ranyan. That's what they call outsiders brought in for special jobs, floor rags. When you're no longer needed, they chuck you. A fate for all Ranyans. You have Brigitte? <laughs> and how'd you manage that? When we took the mall, we knew the VDBs had sent runners. T. Neptune breached first, to see what was going on. When we iced him, Brigitte dove in after him, used him to shield herself. Tough cookie, that one, but still finds herself stuck. You're bluffing. Got your back against the wall, can't budge, no room to dodge the bullet. I see no reason why both of us shouldn't walk out of here alive. Oh, want what's best for me? Altruism now part of the Netwatch mission? You don't gotta like us to see we're better partners than the Voodoo Boys. Sure, you might free Brigitte. Can't have much of a combo with her if you're dead. Rather put my trust in the VDBs than in you, by a mile. Hey, I know we're unpopular in your circles. But whenever there's a real problem, it's Netwatch, not Pacifica's shady hacker cult that gets the call. See that, right? Voodoo's no black tech better than anyone. So no, I think I prefer their expertise over yours. Clever, kinda, but the wrong choice. Know why? They never answer the call. If you're not Pacifica born and bred, you're nothing to them. Less than nothing. Got anything to back that claim? But the Voodoo's want to set me up? Wanna? They did it already. Soon as you handed over your link, slipped in the Spectre and a virus. I'm <laughs> talking as if he was there. He's working you. So obvious it hurts. Ask for proof. Besides, I'd know. <laughs> that so? Then please take a look. Run a system diagnostic. Fine. Nothing out of place. No trace of... Do it again. Then cross-check the result against the first. Identical, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's not a real scan. It's a copy. The data collection. Why would you target Pacifica's runners? That's the job. This is about Rezoagua, isn't it? Can't have an indie net where you aren't welcome to protect and serve, huh? No such thing as an independent net. If the Voodoo Boys breach the Black Wall, we'll all be fucked one way or the other. Brigitte and the other one, Neptune. What's their condition? Tags are active, so the VDBs must be keeping them alive from their side. But they can't sustain that. They cannot which in turn makes Brigitte and T less useful to us. Tried using their interface to breach the Voodoo subnet, but Brigitte proved stubborn. 
She managed to take some bites out of our systems before we secured her. A little taste of your own medicine? What's your beef with the voodoos? Any idea how many attacks from behind the black wall we neutralized last year? Want me to guess? So you don't know. No one in Night City knows, outside of us. And no one wants to know. People imagine it as a great border wall, a one-time solution to protect humanity forever. Whereas, it's more like a torn open trash bag taped over a busted window. And the voodoo boys will not stop poking holes in the fucking thing. All right, what are you offering? A compromise. I'll fish the voodoo virus out of your system. And I'll release both Brigitte and T. Neptune. They'll wake up like nothing ever happened. Not to worry. And all you gotta do is let us walk. With our data. Thoughts? Clock's flipping digits. I think I'll just stick to my plan. <clears throat> Hey, V, you all right? Give me a sec. You look just like him a sec ago. Thanks. Wasn't asking. Oh, what happened? The net pig was right. Voodoo's were blowing smoke. Soon as you gave him access to the net watch web, they roasted all the agents. And you. Chip swoop in again to save the day. Placid wouldn't have seen that coming. Could be. In which case, you're welcome. Not about to let this shit lie. Christ, hope not. Fucking cultists made you their kamikaze bitch. Who'd take a job from us spooky ass voodoo boys? Placid took you for pathetic gutter trash, someone who no one's ever gonna come looking for. So what? I should have spilled the truth? No. We take this to Brigitte. Saved her sorry ass, after all. Wouldn't mind a quick word with Placide, too. Shouldn't let this lie. Head to Batty's. Grumpy motherfucker. Hope he likes surprises. You wish to talk to Placid? Is that what you want? Be because I can take you. 
I'll find him. Sure. Yes. B, the basilisk. It's ready. Would you like to drive it? Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. Just a little. All ready to go? Hey, B. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the system. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And Saul, what about him? Nothing. For now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. All right, let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything ought to... Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Oh, yes! It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? At least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There, see? Understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm watching. Just put it through a few turns. All right. I can see you've grown bored. 
Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Do it. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Better than dirt now. Good! Bullseye! Okay, practice is over. B, do you remember what I said about impulses? Well, watch out now. What's happening? I jacked him. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled? It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? I could go for that. Can you feel that? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. I have no idea how people can focus in combat. It's probably not always this intense. How about this?
all of us. Each on his or her own must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Salt. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said- I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I've barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. Did you no, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on me all to count us. Always. Huh. Good to know. How many did we drop? Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Fear me. To happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what are you... Stay in camp. Join us. To Pan Am. I really would. Mm hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. Maybe once you move camp, we'll... Relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember. I... We were talking. Then... Suddenly... You passed out. Completely. 
We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, listen to me. There is not a thing you could say to me that would change how... I mean, just cut the bullshit and tell me what's going on. You know, Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Pan Am, Silverhand's construct is busy wreaking havoc in my head. Impossible. It's not... It's simply impossible. Johnny Silverhand? Listen, did you try, you know, talking to someone about this? I tell my therapist a lot of things, but this isn't one of them. Construct's more like a cancer, growing every day. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better. Really. You have to! I'm a Wait. subscriber! I will what? go with you. I thought I heard know? that voice. But it must be a mistake! Hey, Mitch. I swear! Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Is anything wrong, V? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. So you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. Uh, yeah. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest wow. will settle in quickly. Fuck em. But well, tell us, us man, how are you? It's our time you scared now. us. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? I know this area. Back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though. For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are hey, much better. Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. Yeah. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, 
Not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. Ah, shit! How's Jake holding up? Not so great. We managed to stem the bleeding, but without that implant. What's going on? Jake got hit. Badly. He needs a new kidney as of this minute. Only problem is, he's got sickle cell anemia. He'll need a specially customized kidney implant. As you can imagine, that kind of thing isn't easy to come by out here in the Badlands. Raff and Shiv, were they the ones behind this? Mm-hmm. We pulled through this time. Barely. Shrapnel caught Jake half an inch below his flak jacket. Oh, that's a tough break. It still isn't too late to save him. But time's running out. You can find an implant like that in Night City, no questions asked. Right. Dakota called up her contact at one of the hospitals. Was told they could work something out. But... But that means getting to the city, and you see the state the camp's in. Raff and Shiv could come back at any moment. It's all hands on deck. You know where this is going, V. I won't beat around the bush. Can you help us? You can count on me. I know, V. Dakota's contact works at a hospital in Little China. All you have to do is pick up the implant. The money will take a more secure route. Got you. See you later then. BD. Shouldn't have released it, really. Get all that shit I said to you. Eddie's will hit your pocket soon. And should I mention there'll be a bonus? Enjoy! Did Dakota send you? That's right. You got the goods? Right here. Dynalar Super Kidney. Especially for sickle cell anemics. Just like we agreed. Eddie's will get to you in. Yeah, yes. Later, I know. I have to go now. I'm operating. Street scum's beat out of here! They never make it easy, do they?
Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I won't if you can give me an explanation, and it better be fucking good. The phone call with Dakota. It was tapped. The police. They made me do it. <laughs> nice try. Badges wouldn't go to all that trouble over a kidney implant. Wait, please! It's the truth! They said they were rounding up every last Raff and Shiv member in Night City! But Dakota isn't... Oh, fuck it. Never mind. You won't get it. Please, let me go. I... I didn't want to get mixed up in this. I had no choice. No one's touched this implant apart from you, right? I can't say for certain. Think carefully now. I don't want to have to jack into you and find out for myself. The police, they... They put a virus on the super kidney. The original firmware is on this shard. You'll need to swap them out. Get out of my sight. Oh, mother of God. Thank you. Thank you. Out of my sight! This better be worth it. Got Jake's implant, but there's a virus on it. You'll have to swap out its firmware with the original on the shard. <laughs> what a surprise. Nomads always get special treatment. Thanks for being careful, V. Come by in a few hours. Things should settle down by then. Aldecaldo camp. Did they call you V, right? One and only. Did someone from the family send you here? Now, why do I get the feeling something's wrong? What have you gotten yourselves into? Carol and Cass are here to close a deal with the scavengers. We purloined some cyberware for them. And? And it's taken them near eternity. Something isn't right. I'll go and take a look, make sure everything's okay. Wait, it's just... Well, they could get real sore about... Just keep a lookout. Sorry to interrupt. How's it going? Close the deal yet? V, what are you doing here? Who is this? Thought I'd drop by, you know. Make sure everyone's playing fair. Who the fuck is this? Deals either go quickly or they go badly. It's Biz 101. Longer you drag out the convo, more peeps you'll drag in. Just a reminder that there are more of us. In case you're to pull a gonk move. You think you're so fucking latest, don't you? And what if I do wanna pull a gonk move starting with your ugly face? You can try. How about we get this over with, Roman? You were late. Our bad, granted. We'll scratch off 10%. 20. 15. Fine, let's call it a fucking day already. I'll give the sick for the edges. You must be outside your mind, V. Why'd you come here? 
deal with the scavs on their turf, on their terms. You must really be desperate. And desperate people don't think straight. Save as you're patronizing, V. We knew the risk, but we really need this money. Like, badly. Hush up now. You can conversate all you want later. Funny. Didn't like your ugly skin plate from the get-go. Now I know why. You're the one who flushed us out in Watson. You're in deep take him shit! Out. they had a sniper. It would have ended up like this anyway. Maybe. Never find out now, will we? Let's not get torn up now. You hear? You never know if your bad luck has spared you from worse luck. You charged into the lion's den to help us, V. Why? Because you listened to your heart. That's a rare thing. Especially out here. Some things, money just can't buy. Speaking of money, can't just leave it sitting around. Thanks for everything, V. So long. Set me up! You batasal! Asse! Kite nu! Me ute we! Yes, but I also saw his scans. He is no ranyo. Boye pep nu a on ba. We are not safe here. Sending Placid away just for little old me. I did not want him to harm me. That we cannot allow. You know about the biochip, don't you? Yes, and we must check its condition. How much you know from my scans? More than Placid, I'm sure. You recognize the biochip because you were looking for it. We must examine you. If you survive the gym, it is at the chip's cost. Should have thought about that before you tried to kill me. If I was here, the chip would never be in danger. If it is in good condition, we offer you a fair price. Perhaps more for the emotional toll. <laughs> Biochip's not for sale. And you're not ripping it out of me. Thing was in shit shape already before I strolled into the gym. It does not function. Not that bad. Problem is, no one I've talked to can yank it out without risk of... death. As soon as you commissioned the thing's theft, I figured you might know a way to help. How do you know all this? How did you find us? Evelyn Parker. Name ring a bell? Ah, the doll. The whore. 
You found us because she led you to us. She has proved not completely useless after all. Listen, can you help me or not? Yes, of course, but not here. We will go to the crib, where you must give us access to the gym. Once we have the data we need, we will do our best to help you. Seriously? We haven't done enough for you already? There is no other way. To remove it, we must first examine it. Because if you fuck up, you're left empty-handed. That it? I gave my word. We will help you. Don't think I'm that desperate yet. You said no other could help you. Maybe I got other options I don't know about yet. I hope you return before your time runs out. How's Jake doing? He's easing into it, slowly. Needs a day or two to get up on his feet. I'm glad to hear that. You have my thanks, V. On behalf of myself and the entire family. Depends on what the it is, and what you want to hear. Oh, well, you know, the huge. I longed for you, V. Oh, I see you've already played out this conversation all on your own. Force of habit. Pan Am. <laughs> I did, though. I missed you. <laughs> 